Good morning. <clears throat> it seems that every time I'm going to do a video, um, it's before I take a shower, sometimes two or three o'clock in the morning, um, I just throw my hair up. I sometimes I still have like eye boogers and lines on my face. I do like the days when I have lines on my face because then I know I actually got really good night's sleep, which is not very often. So, um, <laughs> uh, I just saw 144. <laughs> Love you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> I see 144 a lot, actually. Um, I don't feel worthy. And that's, that's the attitude you should have. You should always be humble. You know, never, it doesn't matter how much wisdom he graces you with, that um, I'm really no better than I was before I was saved. Uh, meaning that even though I'm not living a sinful life anymore, you know, my, my heart, you know, my heart was, you know, I mean, my heart's different now. It's, you know, 100% pure before it wasn't, but he saw the potential of my heart, which I'm thankful and, and feel blessed every single day that, um, that he did have mercy upon me. So, um, I'm doing this, um, this, it's, the thing is, what I notice is, um, when you're speaking real truth, <clears throat> you know, it's not popular and it never will be popular because um, you're living in a terror world. You're living in Satan's system. So even when Jesus was here speaking truth, um, most people didn't want to accept it. Um, especially, you know, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, because they were always tares. They were never, ever, ever the Lord God's children. Never. They were Satan seeds. And Jesus pointed that out, too, in um, John eight thirty four through 47. Um, so there are very, very few of us that actually know the truth and speak the truth. Um, and of course there, you're going to have ministers and pastors and all of them come against you that they claim, they claim that they're teachers of the Lord Jesus Christ when it's their, their wannabe teachers. They're not real teachers because somebody who um, speaks real truth is someone who has his Holy Spirit, who the Holy Spirit is guiding them. The Holy Spirit is teaching them. Um, others are going off on their own. They're not, they're not speaking for the Lord God. And I'm not saying that I'm speaking for him, but I tell truth to the best of my ability to what the Lord Jesus Christ has shown me, and then I share it. Now, if I fumble and I'm not so graceful about my presentation on how I give truth, that's my, that's, that's the foolish side. That's me. You know, I'm just a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, putting truth out there. And whether somebody wants to accept it or not, you know, usually it's the Lord God's children, which we're very few. Um, they, they know the truth. They see it because the Holy Spirit within them, you know, verifies and tells them that this person is speaking truth. You know, they don't, they don't lean on their own understanding. When you're truly following the Lord Jesus Christ and doing his will first, you listen to what your, your heart, what the Holy Spirit is telling you versus what's here because what's what's here you know <laughs> it's not gonna help you 
it's so weird because I do, I'm going to share a weird thing that I do once in a while. And my, all my children know I do it and it's, it's random and I don't know how I came up with it and I don't know why I do it. But sometimes, and I can't believe I'm admitting this, excuse me, <laughs> sometimes I sing randomly and say, if I only had a brain. <laughs> And all I have to do is say, if I, and then my children know, <laughs> they sing along. <laughs> oh and the event. <laughs> um, so, truth. Okay. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is Satan's system. It's a stage. It's a pro it's nothing but prop and makeup. Everything around you, everything outside yourself is prop and makeup that Satan has placed. Um, and it is, it's just props. Israel, a prop. Jerusalem, a prop. Everything around you is props. The government, a prop. You're not even living in the United States. You're not even living in where you think that you're living. It's a corporation owned by the queen, which is a king because she's transgender, she's a he or a, a reptile or whatever they are. Creepy. <laughs> All this is a prop, you know, the, the, the movie They Live that I know others have um, used that as an example is truth, is truth when, when you know, think about it, the, the, if you don't know about the movie, there was a, an, a guy in it who put these special sunglasses on and when he put them on, he could see the world for what it actually was. Well, think about Jesus Christ being those special glasses that when he graces you with his Holy Spirit, he places those glasses upon you and you see the world for exactly what it really is. Not real. Everything is not what you think it is. So you're like, okay, well, what, what does the Bible mean when it refers to Israel and whatever? We are Israel. We, the, the children of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are Israel. Okay? We're Israel. We're the real Jews, not the Jesuits that they're props and actors that pretend to be something they're not. They're all pretending to be something they are not. They are not who you think they are. They're tears. All of them are tears. All of them. Actors, tears, puppets, props, whatever, however you want to look at it. That's what they are. Why would, and then people would say, well, why would Satan go through all this trouble to do all this? Because he thinks your eternal soul is worth it. And I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's gold to him. It's your eternal soul, your eternal soul. So obviously it's worth it to him to get it. So here's the thing. Um, so we're Israel. We're the real Jews. We were the 12 tribes that were scattered. So there are not very many of us, brothers and sisters, and those who claim to be of the Lord Jesus Christ and don't know truth, they are not. They are tares. They are wannabe, you know, um, children. But here's the thing, and this is what no pastor and no minister and no teacher is going to tell you this. At least I've never seen somebody say this, okay? A Gentile is a tear. That's what, that's what, that's what it is. A Gentile is a tear. A Gentile is someone who was never the Lord God's children, okay? They're a tear. They're from, they're Satan's seed, let me read to you uh, Romans 11. Uh, I'll start with 15. For if the casting away of them, 
be the reconciling of the worlds, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? Question mark. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou be a wild olive tree, wert, wert graft in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root to thee. Excuse me. Thou wilt say then the branches were broken off that I might be graft in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, his real children, take heed lest he also spare not thee. So, again, I know I'm not, I, I'm, when you speak truth, the more someone disagrees with me and, and argues with me or something, the more I know it's uh, most likely more true than I thought it was. So Gentiles are tears. Okay, they're tears. That just, that just shows you how loving and kind our father is that he's willing as if they want to love and serve him that's their choice you know if they're going to go on that one saved always saved boat and say i just have to believe in jesus and do nothing they're not serving him they're not truly loving him because they're not following his laws and commandments so they're not going to be grafted in so think about it think that okay, those of us who are the real Jews, which by the way, I didn't think I was like, I, I have no, uh, um, looking at me, I'm half Yupik Eskimo, a quarter French Canadian. And it's like, I never in my 42 years of my life did I think or come close to the thought of thinking that I was Jewish. <laughs> Because of what, because of how they prop they they how they displayed it, how um, you know the stage was what what Satan saying is a Jewish person and what an actual Jewish person is you know a real Hebrew we're Hebrews we're Hebrews we're Jews Hebrews just means human. That's what it means. Hebrew means you're human. They're not human. They're reptiles, tares, transgender, whatever they are, you know, that's, that's what they are. You're Hebrew. You're a human. Human, Hebrew, Israel. We're the new Jerusalem. Okay. They're looking for this temple to be built, but we're the temple. We are. We are. There's not a physical, this is not you know, prop, stage, makeup, lighting, whatever. This is, you know, this is, you know, I guess us versus them. I don't know. And in the end, you know, you know, we're going to have a big battle <laughs> and, and you know who wins. <laughs> so if you're a tear, you know, you may want to step it up and join team Jesus and serve him and truly love him and follow his laws and commandments and ask him into your life and ask him into your heart because guess what it's like we're we're down to minutes you know and I'm sure I'm I'm talking about like on our father's clock we're down to minutes um maybe even seconds in his clock you know so um yeah so take take this information pray about it, ask for your own discernment, go directly to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm speaking truth to the best of my ability. Again, I'm not very graceful about it. I come on here all like unshowered, 
boogered up, whatever, but I'm just speaking truth. And those of you who are actually the Lord Jesus Christ children will know what I'm saying is true. Um, those that are tears, that have always been tears, you're going to disagree with me and your heart is just too blackened to just even accept truth because you need to be born again. You need to be born again. I cannot express, you know, express this enough to people who listen. You need to be born again, born of the spirit, his Holy Spirit, because you know, the, the pit's going to swallow you whole if you're not just the way it is. So this is serious though people aren't taking it seriously. So I hope you have a great day. I have a busy day um, cleaning and cooking and everything. So um, I hope this helps one person. That's why I do these videos. And I like that I, I like that I end a lot of videos like that, that I hope I, it helps one, one, one person. Because imagine just one person encouraging you that, you know what? where very 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 few you know many are called out few are chosen yeah we're very very few so stay strong stay strong in the word stay strong in the lord jesus christ and do his will first step away from the world come away from the world because if you don't you may be playing video games or something the the minute the Lord Jesus arrives and you're not going to be ready. You're going to be that foolish virgin, you know, banging on that door saying, Lord, let us in. I'm not going to let you in. So, I love you. Gave you truth. Have a good day and God bless.